What it do y'all, it's your girl Makeup and Travel and for today's video I'm here to bring you my latest video in my must have gag series. This is my series that I created inspired by Samantha March's Will I Buy It series. I always have her series and the community playlist linked down below as well as all the Instagram pages I use to get all of this Instagram instagram this makeup news i also have all of the items listed and linked down below that are available if they're not i say they're not available or i give you a date if it's coming up very soon and i can link you to like the website or whatever as for my makeup look i did not record this um i am filming this very late on saturday i have just been in a huge reading mood i have not been in a recording mood so i have not recorded basically all weekend and i just wanted to throw something on my face i will have all of the information for my face down below for you guys i did not put on earrings so i'm gonna put on earrings move to the side and we're just gonna get into this video Alrighty, so like I said, I'm recording this rather late. It is almost 10 p.m. on Saturday night. I should still be able to get this up on time on Sunday morning, but if it's a little late, that is why. Let's just get into it though. Urban Decay has come out with three new mini palettes, um, and they all seem to have some form of decade or really big period and time theme. So one is the 2000s, the other one is the 90s, 80s and it looks like 70s as well i don't know where the 70s is maybe this oh yeah there's more than there's more than three that's why okay um and smashbox also came up with some stuff too let's talk about the urban decay palettes first i love the idea of these palettes um and i'm actually represented in <laughs> and one of these palettes as I'm sure everybody is because they they covered quite a few years um but anyways I think these are cute I'm not tempted by any of them honestly the one that I'm most tempted by what one is that I think this is the boogie one but that looks like too many shades there's only six shades three six yeah so I don't know what they're swatching there oh okay that's something different okay um as for the eyeshadow palettes i think that they look okay they're cute but nothing really to write home about now the smashbook stuff which are all cream eyeshadows i'm assuming there are quite a few there are quite a few matte eyeshadows i'm intrigued to know if there's a doe foot with this application or if it is a tube application if there's a doe foot application i may actually pick up one or two of these because i do like to have a matte cream product i don't use it very often but when i do i usually just use full-on cream products that whole look and i only have one matte cream base and it's purple and i would love to have like the yellow the green and maybe that tealy shade those would be the three shades that i'd probably pick up they're probably expensive so i'm probably not going to want to get half of them yet they're 22 dollars, so that's a lot i'm just going to wait for those who get pr from this brand to review it to test it out and let me see how it works out because there have been very few cream matte formulations that i have actually purchased i've only purchased one to date and that was from ulta beauty and i love that formula they just haven't come out with more shades so that's with that um and yeah the, uh, the urban k palettes they're cute but they're just complete color score story wise they're just not what i need personally violet Voss came out with a new palette in the tie dye four palette um and it's cute it's a rainbow palette you have some neutrals in there you get some mattes and shimmers i appreciate that i've actually gifted a friend a violet Voss palette and she loves it she loves the formula she loves everything about it and i did that to get her into more color 
I personally only have one Violet Boss palette and it's actually none of their rainbow palettes funny enough um for me this is an easy pass completely easy pass it's just not what i'm geared to right now i'm just not really i do love color don't get me wrong but i just don't find the need for another rainbow palette i feel as though i have quite a few rainbow palettes and when i think of a rainbow palette and i want to use one i really just reach in for my lick and lash playful palette and i have also their flamingo palette as well so i just don't feel the need to get more rainbow palettes that being said if you are interested in seeing somebody use this palette the fancy face has already done a tutorial I don't know if in that video she also did a review I genuinely don't remember um but hopefully I can remember and I will link that down below under the link to this in case you are interested in watching that video I just scrolled up way too much Desi has come out with another launch for her sunglasses collection and they are a bunch of nude shade sunglasses I actually like that idea I like the theme um, don't get me wrong but I wear glasses right so I wear glasses I can no longer wear contacts and so for me sunglasses are just moot I just rarely use them I actually have a sorority sister who bought me a pair of expensive sunglasses and I rarely use them they're in my car and you know when I get the inkling I do put them on and thankfully they are there is prescription in them right yeah there is a prescription in those so um, i do get a fair amount of use from them but in the grand scheme of things i just don't get use out of sunglasses but like i said i do like the idea of her having a shade that is nude for everybody and it looks like the range is quite nice um i'm not a huge sunglasses person though so i can't tell you if this is like original if not i i just i don't wear sunglasses Juvia's Place, I'll be talking about them again later, but they came out with a collaboration with Yami, what, what is her real name? All these, ta Yami Angelica, Angelina, Yami Angelina, that. Um, and it's a six pan eyeshadow palette and two lip glosses. Um, I haven't seen much like in the sense of what's going on with this palette. There is a glitter, it's literally labeled Glitter Queen, so I'm assuming there's a glitter in that palette um there's also two metallics and then three mattes the color scheme overall is just is nothing exciting for me personally and the lip glosses are cute but i don't need more lip glosses i just don't so this is another easy pass for me sephora so sephora is going to be doing a lot of different sales from december pretty much the whole month um i'm recording this like i said on the fifth and we are in the middle of their dollar saving offer so basically depending on your tier at sephora you can get a certain percentage off um i think vib rouge gets 25 dollars off a 75 dollar purchase or more for me i feel like november i went in i i went in so personally i truly honestly do not need any more makeup but i am going to be using this um deal a little bit later i'm not really stressed to make the purchase for you guys i want to pick up a couple more things for the giveaway and then i also want to pick up a fragrance um i've been slowly picking up fragrances that i finish up my sample or whatever maybe like the travel size so this is going to be something that i'm going to use that discount to do that I have another fragrance that I've also finished up like the travel size that I could pick up later on. It just depends. I need to see how your girl's money flow is going and all of that. So um, I will be maybe using some of these offers, but let me just go through it. So the first week is the third to the ninth and you get that percentage off of $75 depending on your tier. Then from the 10th to the 16th, you get multiple points events. So if you are Rouge, you get four times the points. VIB, three times the points. Insider, two times the points. The 19th is Super Saturday. So it looks like you get the chance to win a gift card. And also on the 10th as well, Fenty is coming out with some new products, which I will be talking about later. And also Gucci is coming out with some new products. Then there is a new fragrance launch on the 17th. And the 20th through the 1st, there is a sale on sale, which means basically you get 20% off of the sale price on items in their sale section. Um, like we've been saying, a lot of brands, a lot of distributors, everybody's hurting right now, yeah? And so they're trying to make up their money some way, somehow. 
a lot of people tend to overspend during Sephora's sales in general and so they're making this basically a month of sales so that they can bring their revenue back up. For me I'm going to be spending extremely wisely, extremely critically and that's how I would recommend you guys as with all sales. Just take your time you don't have to rush to purchase on the first day i promise you most of the stuff if not everything that you want to pick up will still be available on the last day of the sale or whatever have you take your time be strategic if you have the money or whatever i mean like if you're going to get a fragrance maybe wait until the 10th through 16th because fragrances tend to be more expensive and if you really use your sephora points and you want to get the most out of those points that would be the best time especially if you're vib rouge if you're spying like a hundred dollar fragrance you'll get 400 points instead of 100 points you get what i'm saying so that's all i'm going to say on that spend wisely do what you do okay keep, keep Kiko? Yeah. Kiko has a new collection available at Ulta um, and it is their Holiday Gems collection. There looks to be an eyeshadow palette, some single eyeshadows, some blushes, a highlighter, a whole bunch of stuff. For me, I've always been slightly interested in Kiko, but I just feel like they don't gear their products towards my complexion. Their blushes look beautiful but they also look matte and I don't need any more matte blushes I promise myself I'm not gonna be picking up matte blushes um and so for me I think this is gonna be a just a huge pass but the packaging looks cute everything looks cute it just it just doesn't seem like it's geared towards me and for me Muse Beauty has come out with some duos they come out with some highlighter duos and some blush duos they're both cream which Definitely had me do a double take as Samantha March says. I definitely had to question, had to think, is this something that I would get some use out of? Is this something that I'd be interested in? I am definitely interested in these products, but I have told myself I am not going to be picking up any more cream products for I think I said three or six months. I don't actually remember because I want to get the use out of the cream products that I have and just get to know them even more. I found after taking some more time that depending on the application of that Patrick Star blush, I actually do like the cream side and I actually think that it does look nice on me. So I just want to take my time and use the products that I have. I don't want to have quick decisions on decluttering the products, getting rid of the products, throwing them away. I find that that I've done that in the past and when I was going through my declutter bin and just seeing what I had there are things that I had in that declutter bin that I'm actually interested in some way or fashion of repurchasing so for me right now I really want to just take the time here some reviews there are quite a few people that I follow that actually get PR from this brand so I'm interested but I'm not going to pick it up I also would like to see some different shades for me none of these shades would really be unique at all maybe the cream highlighters I don't really have a lot of cream highlighters like that um but I know the cream blushes would not be unique for my collection so I would definitely just want to see more from the brand Asgard Queen Cosmetics has come out with a new palette. No, I'm sorry. They haven't come out with a new palette. They've restocked it. And I don't know how to say this palette. I, I think it's in Russian. Yeah, because the brand is based in Russian. Um, I think that... I love the actual palette. As for the shades, it is very cool tone. There are quite a few grays, maybe even a dual chrome in this palette. It's cute. It's cute. I love that it's Asgard theme. I love Thor. Mm. But <laughs> But I just don't think I can bring myself to pick this up. It is only $27, so not very expensive at all. I think this is just very interesting and cute, but I just don't think I can bring this up into my collection. I have quite a few grays already, blacks, stuff like that. I could literally dupe this palette out with my singles easily without even trying. So I am going to go ahead and pass. But I will say this, if the brand actually releases the actual physical palette as like a Z palette or something, then they may get my money. Colourpop has a collaboration with Hello Kitty. I'm pretty sure by the time this video is up, this pal this collection is already available. Yeah, it released yesterday. Um, it's cute. I like the blushes, but these are just blush shades that I tend to be interested in from Colourpop, but I actually never pick up. For me, it's just the fact that they're all the same. Like all their shades of their blushes are the same. Please come out with some new things. Come out with new textures Colourpop. You come out with a lot of matte blushes. Come out with more satin blushes, glowy blushes. I'm here. I'm waiting. 
Hi. Um, the eyeshadow palette looks super boring. Nowhere near interested. And everything else just is, is obscenely boring. I'm not going to hold you up. Um, so easy pass for me. Sephora is rivaling Ulta as I feel like these two distributors always do. And Sephora is finding their way into Kohl's. I love Kohl's, but their beauty section, at least the one near me, has always been tragic. I mean tragic. So I am happy to see that this is happening. I'm starting to purchase a few more things from Kohl's lately. I just, you know, Kohl's is one of those places you can, it's like a Target, okay? You can go in for a pair of socks and come out with $100 worth of stuff. It's just, it's tragic, okay? Um, and I actually need to get a pair of jeans from Kohl's. I need to see if they're still on sale anyways i'm intrigued to see how this is going to pan out i want to see if this is going to be yet again kind of the same situation as sephora and jc penny um i'm not mad at it at all and i just want to see i just want to see what happens lashes by lena is doing a nigeria collection which i am actually really really excited to see what is coming from this collection i hope that there's more than just lashes because for me if there is i personally just won't be picking anything up i've tried lashes your girl <laughs> your girl just has no business okay i have no business being anywhere near them um it doesn't seem like this brand has released anything except for lashes which is understandable the name the name of the brand is literally lashes by lena but i just no. So depending on what comes of this collection, if there's more than just lashes, your girl might pick something up. Um, but otherwise, probably not. Midas Cosmetics is sneak peeking another palette. And this one is their Artistry Volume 2 palette. I must say the two shades that I've seen sneak peeked, I am excited. I like those two shades. They're two grungy, grungy tones. Oh, it says the palette is here. It's launching in two days. Okay, so then that means, have they not shown, like they should have shown something, right? Should have shown the whole thing. Let's see what's going on. Apparently the brand is doing sales right now, in case you are wondering. I'm so confused. Either way, apparently this palette is coming out in two days, 9 a.m. PST. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be more neutral because this, all the other version that they have is the pastel duo palettes. So I'm assuming what's going to happen is you're going to have two palettes for different complexions. Um, and they're both going to be neutral. I'm interested, um, because like I said, I am very interested in the two shades that they have actually shown us, but that is because your girl is a lover of yellowy based neutrals. I just love them. So I want to see what comes of this palette and we will see. By the time the next video comes up in this series, I will definitely have my opinions for you guys. JLo Beauty has, I think they've already done their like December launch. No, their December launch is on the 8th. So you guys will be seeing this a day, no, two days before it actually launches. And she's coming out with a glow serum, a wonder cream, complexion booster, a face mask, a cleanser, an eye cream, moisturizer, and dietary supplement. I don't actually know what happened, but I feel like the beauty community should have maybe learned from the Tati stuff about dietary supplements, maybe? Let me not put my foot in my mouth because I really don't know what happened. But anyways, that that um, I don't go nowhere near supplements, especially from people that ain't got no business telling me what a supplement should have. So no. Um, then you have moisturizer, eye cream, and cleanser, and the face mask, which are all more skincare based products. I find that a lot of people are probably going to pick some of this stuff up because they see JLo's skin, they see her complexion, and they're like, ooh, sis is still snatched. She snatched. Yes, sis still looks fine, okay? Sis is cute. But I always like to, you know, err on the caution of, but is she naturally cute? I'm not judging anybody. You be great. You spend your money how you want. You do what you want with your body. People judge me for my piercings because they say that's not how I was made in God's light or whatever you practice or believe in. I get it. 
I'm not gonna judge you for the way you be great this is how I'm gonna be great but either way I don't for me personally I don't buy products from brands based on the campaign person's face you know what I mean because you don't know what that person be doing and you don't know for a fact that that person even be using the products that they're selling so scratch on that um it's just no uh-uh I no. then you have the complexion booster wonder cream and serum why is my battery low anyways okay the complexion boost booster is a highlighter so it's a it's a liquid highlighter the wonder cream is another base pro or uh it's another skincare product and then the glow serum is like a glowier version of the complexion booster i don't need none of that no jlo come out with a bronzer thank you cream or matte and you got me even a, a face highlighter cream or matte you got me but I'm not, I don't need nothing for my body from you and I don't need no skincare from you. So I'm a, I'm a sit my salty behind down and I'm going to <laughs> exchange my battery and then we will keep going into this makeup news. All right, keeping it going. Glossier is doing a limited edition of collection, which is their bomb.com roulette, um, where you get three mystery flavors of their um, lip balm. You also get a gold kit, which has a necklace and a lip gloss. Um, no, I, I have what two Glossier cream blushes, and I really do like them. Don't get me wrong, but I don't like to be surprised. I don't like it not at all no so for me I don't need you surprising me on products I'm gonna be putting on my lips especially like depending on the flavor it ain't going nowhere near me none so this is the easy pass and then the the kit with the lip gloss and the necklace you're basically playing for the the, the necklace because that kit is $75 so Another very easy pass. I mean, it is seven karat gold. I don't tend to wear gold. I tend to err on the side of silver, which is very unpopular with a lot of brands and a lot of jewelry makers. You really have to get like real silver or people will take silver or platinum and they'll gold plate it or whatever or coat it. Um, so it's really hard for me to find like a lot of jewelry um, that's not like characterized like this. Like if I just want a simple gold hoop, I generally have to get it from like a piercing shop or something or you just not going to find something like that. So anyways, easy pass for me. Baby K Cosmetics has come out with their ride or die palette and there are purples, pinks, blues and some neutrals in this palette. There's 15 shades in total. You have 10 mattes and 5 shimmers. I actually like that ratio. It's not a bad ratio. For me, I like the shades, but there's not much depth. If there would have been more depth in like the neutral shades and the blues and the pinks, you know what I mean? I would have been happy, but this is pretty much a mid-tone palette. No disrespect. No, like if you like that, you like that. But I like to really bring depth into my looks and that's Low-key why I'm not really feeling this look too hardcore because there is no depth in my outer V, which is why I re-decluttered the palette that I used. Um, so yeah, Glam Light has come out with some new products. So what is the name of this? This is another palette box thing, and this is their pie palette in their foodie box, and this is their holiday themed. So the palette has a blush, which is very interesting because i'm pretty sure glam light has not released any blushes period so i'm pretty sure this is their first launch of that and i'm happy to say that this is a very unique and different color scheme for them they have not come out with neutrals like that this is pretty much a neutral palette for them and i like it i like it which is very very weird um it launched today <laughs> It launched today, um, earlier this morning, and I like the palette. I'm not gonna hold you up. Um, I'm not sure if this palette launched by itself. Yeah, I think it did. Mm 
No, no, no. So I think this launched in the box, which is $45. I don't want the box because I don't know what else they've given me. I personally, and I know they put a lot of lashes in that stuff. I don't want all that. For me, I would just want the palette. And what I like most about this palette is that it's not too, too big, I don't think. And it's not going to be like too big of a mess to store. So maybe if they relaunch this like separately I may pick it up there's a ratio with I would say what is it four matte eyeshadows and two five shimmers with the one blush which of course you can use in your crease as well so I'm interested in this palette I'm interested and we will see okay what's next and there's other stuff but truly I, I it's lip glosses eyeshadow eyelashes all of that the main kit and caboodle is that palette Suave Cita Pomade did a collaboration with Loteria. I don't know. I don't know what either of them are or who either of them are. I'm sorry. I just don't. Um, but there are lipsticks. Eyeshadow. What, what? Yeah, lipstick and eyeshadow. And liquid lipsticks. It's cute, um, but because the theme is not hitting me and the eye, the shade is not hitting me, the shades and the actual palette, it is going to be a pass for me. Sonya G is coming out with a new brush set. It is limited edition. It is their Kiyaki set. It is homemade brushes in Kumano, which the handles are made out of Kiyatsi Zelkova Serata, which is a wood native to Japan. This set is $125. And there's also a new brush holder. Okay. Um, I, I want and need to see more from the actual brushes. I know Sonya G, what she usually does is she shows... Okay, so it's going to launch in a couple of days for you guys. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place. It launches December 9th at 9 a.m. PST at Beautylish. That's the only place you can get Beauty... Um, Sonya G brushes from my knowledge. Now, I, I am interested. I am very, very interested um, in the brush set. Apparently, the brush holder is $190. I, I cannot. No, I can't. Brushes I can justify. I cannot justify. <laughs> I can't justify a brush holder being that expensive. As for the brushes, what I personally would want to do is look on Sonia's Instagram. What she usually does is she does picture comparison of all of her brushes and other similar brushes from high-end brands or just brands in general of similar shapes and bodies. I want to see what these brush shapes are looking like um, because I am very intrigued. The handles look beautiful. I love Sonia G's handles i have brushes from i think all of her ranges i have some from the fat handle and the pro line um and i'm pretty sure have i gotten anything recently from sonya g i don't think so i think my most recent purchase luxury brush wise was from fude so i need to see what these brushes are looking like like i said i, j I have brushes from fude coming and yeah i also wouldn't mind in that order if i do pick up some sonya g brushes i wouldn't mind picking up her brush towel as well um right now i just use my what are they called microfiber i think they're called microfiber the the ones that people use to like take off their makeup i use those actually to um clean off my brushes because right now i don't actually have a, a brush soap so i have to use like a spray I'm going on a tangent. Either way, I would appreciate probably having that towel too. Um, I just didn't pick it up on launch because I didn't want to literally just buy that one thing from Beautylish. I hate getting like one thing in a package. I rather get wait until I have a couple of things and then pick up a nice healthy order. Artitude, Artitude Cosmetics has revealed a new palette um, and it's launching on December 11th, 8 a.m. UK time. And I don't know what the palette's name is because they did not put it in. I don't understand. Why is there no name? Give me the name. 
Okay, so apparently this palette is VIP exclusive and you have to become a VIP to get the palette. I think it's cute, but I just, I don't, yeah, no. So, yeah, I, I don't intend to be a VIP. Honestly, I need to declutter my inbox. I get way too many emails, especially right now during the holidays, and I, I cannot handle it. Physicians Formula is coming out with some more products in their butter range, and they're coming out with a primer and a putty form and a skin mist. Um, I think these are nice. It's another alternative if people aren't fans of e.l.f. or if the e.l.f. version doesn't work for them. They have another drugstore-ish alternative. Physician Formula is not really drugstore pricing, but then again, e.l.f. is no longer drugstore pricing either. So yeah, the mist, it's cute or whatever. Um, honestly, I don't need any more mist. I actually picked up a mist recently, which that's a whole thing for another story, but another that's another that's a story for another day but either way it's cute nothing that I need playing and makeup by Yolando is coming out with a palette with Brit K Beauty I don't follow her but she looks beautiful stunning she actually has a beautiful um IG so I will be I just followed her she's beautiful um I actually did just pick up I picked up a palette from them during the very beginning of their Black Friday sales. My white balance is completely off, so you probably can't even see. But this is their pastel palette. I will be showing you guys this palette later on, I believe, this month. Um, so I want to try this palette out, get my full thoughts on the brand and you know what their formulation is and all that before I even consider picking up another palette honestly. Um, I will say I like their palettes but their palettes are all very big. So this palette I want to say is 30 shades. Four, three, six, seven, four, five, six. So this is 20. That seems like too small of a number. Ooh, child, it's been a minute since your girl did math. Been a minute since your girl did math. Yeah, I was right, 28. Okay. Well, there's only 28 shades in this palette, but it's 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 thick. She's thick. Um, and I think this is one of the smaller palettes that they've launched yet. So we'll see. Um, I hear great things from this brand from quite a few people, and I wanted to just try them for myself. I've already tried their eyeshadow primer. I love it, and I wanted to just slowly pick up more products from the brand and explore them more. Okay, so I said I was going to be talking about more stuff from Fenty. One thing that she's already sneaked pink, and I think it might actually already be available. No, no, no. It's launching on the 10th, so I think this is one of the things that she's launching during that, like, Fenty release date that I talked about earlier when I was talking about Sephora's like um, month of sales is a gloss balm cream. So basically what she has done is she's taken her gloss balm formula and she's taken out all of the shimmer so you just get a cream lip gloss basically. I like the idea of this. I don't like any of the shades. Um, I think at most I would pick the shade that's in the middle that looks to be more of her Fenty Glow shade but I don't like any of the other shades. I know I wouldn't get any use out of them. So overall this is just going to be an easy pass for me um, and yeah that, that's how you that's how it crumbles for me right now. Um, so Artist Couture did collaboration with Stat, Static John. Um, I don't know who that is. I've never heard of them. Um, but the collection is called Club Daddy. Okay. There's a nine pan eyeshadow palette. There's a highlighter, um, what's it called? A pigment and a lipstick. I think that this collection looks okay. I've never tried Artist Couture's eyeshadow formula. I have tried their loose highlighter formula and I love it. I have still one from the Jackie Aina collaboration. I got rid of the other one because it was just a wee bit too light for your girl. Um, I think I gave it to my best friend. I'm pretty sure. I think. I don't really know. Either way, nothing in this collection is really gripping me. So pass. 
Okay, Juvie's Place has come out with some more products. They have just been churning stuff out and they have added to their lipstick and lip gloss range. So they've added reds and berries. I like that they're slowly um, padding out the range for this lip um, range. I like that idea. I really do. Um, I just... I just don't need any lip products. I really don't. Um, I was going to pick up one during their Black Friday sale, but by the time I got on their website and actually placed an order, the lip shades that I want wanted were out of stock. Um, and yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to some of the berries, but I'm really, I just, I just don't need it, and I'm not gonna force myself to get something to try it out. What I might try out is their lip liners. I feel like their lip liner range is actually really, really nice. And I really would like to get a lip liner that is perfectly my complexion. Um, I haven't gotten there yet, but I'm, I'm searching. Dragon Beauty has come out with two new palettes and they're both in her fantasy eyeshadow range. One is volume one, the other one is volume two. And she's also come out with liquid eyeliners. I like the idea of these palettes, the packaging is creepy. I, I don't know what it is with her and this packaging, but the packaging is actually creeping me out. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Um, the color scheme in the like purple one with the neutrals, I actually like that one. The other one, I I don't, I don't, I don't like it. I, I, no, I don't. So I, <laughs> I'm going to continue to pass on this brand. Um, and you know, that's, that's just, it is what it is. You know, I, I get, yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it. Uh, oh no, something literally just popped up on my timeline. So I'm just going to go ahead and talk about it. Alien Cosmetics is doing a collaboration with Witchwood Bags. And in case you're wondering, I actually do know who this collaboration with is with and they are the people who um i got my halloween hat from i love this brand i love my hat i wear my hat quite frequently i feel like for me um especially because my hair is not long enough to really yeah so i have to do this anyways i really do like um this brand and yeah and i will say just now that i thought about it i'll just go ahead and add this as well the same person that i got my collaboration hat with which is bailey madison makeup she did a Christmas collaboration with Witchwood Bags again, um, and it's relaunching on Friday the 11th at 8 a.m. PST. I will say if you want this hat, run. Do not walk because her Halloween collaboration sold out in like a minute and I was distraught. Okay, I'm not super keen on what it says on this, pal on this hat, so I'm not going to pick her up. Um, but if you are, go for it. So... I think for real, for real this time, that's it. I'm not going to say nothing else. Um, for me, I just, I'm just chilling, you know. Like I said, especially like this weekend, I've been reading so much. So I've definitely not been in like the super, super makeup-y mood. Don't get me wrong. The girl's still loving makeup. I'm still loving recording, all that jazz. But just with my mentality right now, it's just so easy to say no to a lot of things. Which is good because like I said, I dropped bank on in November for Black Friday week the day the month everything I just I dropped money okay and so this month I'm really starting to bring it in I really want to get close to what I want to limit myself beauty um beauty wise in like um the new year I want to get towards that budget this month because last month I was nowhere near that budget so I'm going to do, I'm going to do what it do and we're going to see what it do. Um, but really this month I'm chilling. I might pick up that pie palette, but honestly, I, I need a sale for me to pick it up. I'm not going to hold you up. Other than that, I do want to see some more information on Sonia G's brushes. I am interested in that. Um, and the only th other thing that I'm interested in is picking up a couple of things during a couple of the Sephora sales for mainly you guys and mainly fragrances for me i'm pretty good on makeup i have enough stuff for the rest of the month um when it comes to um 
uh, my channel wise and then I'm also just really happy going through shopping my stash doing other things so that's all I got for you guys today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you do want me to actually do a tutorial on this look I probably won't do this exact look I will probably try and deepen out um, the look a little bit more to my satisfaction but let me know I'm fair game to do it I just had too many things going on and I really just needed to get on here and film um because like I said I need to get this up in the next like six hours so fun fun for me um I hope you guys enjoyed this video and as always y'all black lives do matter please remember to wear a mask and stay safe and I hope your foundation matches your neck I will see you guys in my next video which will be tomorrow and tomorrow I'm starting my first week of like of something and it's gonna be my bronzer week I am so happy you guys know I love bronzers I have some comparisons coming for you guys I have some new bronzers that I picked up so I'm gonna be doing bronzer hunt every day and then I'm gonna be rounding out the week with my bronzer collection so I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow with my first day in my bronzer week